Hi Weber fans, so what we're going to be doing today is cooking pork loin chops with some sofrito barbecue sauce. So what we'll do is get straight to it. And I've got everything in the video today, there will be links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipe will be down there as well. So make sure you check those out. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those you're new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate, slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so first of all, I'd like to thank everybody. We've hit over 400 subscribers. It's absolutely awesome. And I think we had something like 30,000 views. So this channel is going really, really well. Now, just a tip, I'm just letting you know, I have got a second channel which I do run competitions on, and I'm gonna do exactly the same on this channel once we get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you wanna be the chance to enter that competition when it launches at 1,000 subscribers, then make sure you are subscribed, and then make sure you comment on that video when it gets aired. Right, so back to today's video. What we're gonna be doing is cooking some pork loin chops in a barbecue sauce. Now for this recipe, you will need a Weber, obviously a Weber or a barbecue, and you're gonna need a medium direct heat. So you can do this on the Genesis, you can do it on the baby Q, you can do it on the family Weber Q, and you can even do it on the Weber kettle. So what we'll do is jump straight into it. Right, so with this recipe, the preparation time is around 30 minutes and it serves four. So what we're gonna do first is start making our sauce. So we'll grab our ingredients. So now we've got our ingredients, uh, we're going to start chopping the garlic and chopping the, the onion, preparing it ready for that sauce. Now with your ingredients, like I said, you're going to need 12 ingredients and I'll quickly go through them, but they are in the description below with the recipe. You're going to need a brown onion, some garlic, some finely ground salt and pepper, some dried oregano, some paprika, a tin of diced tomatoes, crushed chilies and a bay leaf, extra virgin olive oil, sherry vinegar, and some apple juice. So what we'll do is start chopping this onion and garlic, get it prepared, ready for the sauce. So now we've chopped our garlic and our onion, it's time to get this sauce prepared. So you're gonna need a frying pan. Now I'm using the QA pan, there are links in the description below of the best place to get your Weber products, so make sure you check those out, and the recipe's down there as well. So we're gonna do this inside on the grill, and you're gonna wanna set it on a medium heat. So what we'll do is get straight to it.
Rice sauce is made, it's time to make that rub and get that prepared, ready to go on these chops. Once right, so with our rub, we're gonna combine it together in a system of pot. Now, we'll put a link in the description below of where to get these from. Today we're using line chopped with the bone in. These are just from a local supermarket, so from Coles or Woolies, these are from Coles. Uh, what we'll do is get these prepared and get ready to find that grill. So our steaks are seasoned, we're going to leave them for 20 to 30 minutes to rest at room temperature to absorb all that rub. So what we'll do is we'll get the queue lit, give that 10 minute preheat, and then we'll get these on the queue. So our chops have been resting for about 20 minutes at room temperature, so now it's time to get these on the queue. So our chops have finished resting for about three minutes. So what we'll do is get these plated up and give it a taste test. Once well, that chop tastes really moist, and the combination of flavour from the rub and the sauce just makes the perfect balance. Now don't forget everything used in the video to date, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products, and the recipe is down there as well, so make sure you check those out. Right, so I enjoyed the video and I hope you found it really informative, and as you can see, it's a really simple dish to do, so you can do that at any barbecue, whether you've got the barbecue, the family queue, Genesis, or even the kettle. Now if you want a side dish, I will put an iCard above linking to the sweet potatoes that I made a couple of months back. And my only advice with those chops is you get plenty of sauce, so there's probably enough sauce for at least eight chops if you like. And my, my other piece of advice is if you're gonna do the chops, I'd prefer to do one without the bone if you're gonna pour that sauce over, because it is a bit of a pain trying to cut those chops with the bone when you've got sauce over the top. If those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you the next one. Right, so I'm Joe Rod that. So you can do it on the any Pepper barbecue.